she has sold over 80 million albums worldwide. Her band, The Spice Girls, were ranked on the 40 richest entertainers at Forbes magazine. She's a singer, a songwriter, an actress, and now an accomplished businesswoman with her brand new children's product line called Kit and Kin. She's known as Baby Spice. I've got something to say. Please welcome to Virgin Radio. Emma Bunton. Emma Bunton in studio. What an intro. Thank you very, very much. Well, you deserve it. You you were you were here hanging out. Welcome to the show. Thank you, darling. It's good to see you all. So good. I was gonna, you know, we don't have to teach you about radio. You you did radio. We were just talking about it. You did six years of of morning radio. I did breakfast radio. It's the best fun. In the, it is the best fun, it isn't is. it? You wake up every yeah. morning mm. laughing. You get all the news stories in early, which is great. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah it's but brilliant. How, but why, how could you, like, I mean, you're from the one of the biggest bands in the world. I you know, must have great. loved doing radio to do that. Cause, I you know, did. I did. I really did. It's nice. I, do you know what? I love a journey. You know, we're all on this journey in life, aren't we? I'm trying new things. It's quite important for me, so I think. Cool. It's really nice. Yeah. Welcome really to good. Dubai. Thank you very much. You love it? <gasps> I love it. I've been here quite a few times. Sure. I usually come with my children, which I love. You do an we, undercover stay, do you? We get, yes, I do. <laughs> we, get to, wow. we get to go to Legoland and do all the fun things. Yeah. But actually, I've come with my girls this time hey. so <laughs> we've, been, we've been having lovely dinners and hanging out it's been gorgeous it's so great good to have you here welcome you. i mean come come back if you if you are doing these little secret things come through we want to i will we want to hang out kit and kin man this is great yes. it's finally here in the middle east we're, we're going to talk about whole, you know obviously the music side of things but i want to get down to the the business side of things i think this is so cool Kid and Kin, tell, tell us Boss more. Lady. Tell us tell us more what's going on with it. So I'm so proud of this. It is, um, it's a baby range, which is nappies, skincare, clothing wear. It's Amazing. something I've wanted to do for so long. And it's su- sustainable. It's eco-friendly. That's so it's cool. got everything you need. It's all natural. And um, I just feel so proud of it. We've been going for five years now. We're in 30 countries. It's a beautiful product. And yeah, I'm being being boss lady yes <laughs> well it's because it's such a different thing right like when you when you obviously you do your thing on stage and you're part of one of the biggest groups in the world and you're, you're, you're musically doing your thing yeah. but now to be part of a business and being an entrepreneur and it's I a completely know. different stage right you're in a different life it is and there's lots that go on behind the scenes obviously creating a product is nerve-wracking but i've just felt you know crazy uh, intense but loved it and, and the response to it the mom the parents yeah. are just loving it especially because it's sustainable it's new we're moving forward we also give back we've got um, uh, Kit and yeah. Kin Foundation where I, we give money to uh, the rainforest so it's a, yeah it's a big part of my life now I was going to say that it. every product sold helps protect acres of precious rainforests around the world yes. so and it's been recognised as the most accredited eco nappy on the market now yes. let me tell you something on the planet that's that's so oh, yeah, good. Because I listen, I've got two daughters. Uh, Rossi's got two daughters. He's got a kid on the way in about oh, three months. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, I've got a little gift for you, actually. Oh, a my full right. package of kit and kin, yes. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> and it's true as a parent. I'm going to be honest with you. I've got a 13 and an 11-year-old. Like, 13 years ago, I wasn't really caring about, like, sort of the, the environment when it comes to nappies. I used to buy whatever was there, probably the cheapest one on the market. Yeah. Now, you know, God God willing, I'll have a kid next year, another one. Wow. And I will definitely look at the eco side of what I'm purchasing and yeah. also the chemical side of what I'm yes. putting on my kids, right? This is such a huge thing. I'm the same. I've got older children, but yeah. back in the day, they had sensitive skin. I couldn't find anything. I, yeah. was, I was panicking as a mother. Yeah. Now, all this pro- my product is all natural, and you can put that stuff all over your baby and feel very I love very that. satisfied that and the wipes it. as well 99 percent water 99 percent water no plastic is the big thing as well even though they say no water sometimes they still have plastic and mine have no plastic either so okay and um, your distribution's yeah. amazing because you're in spinnies i'm you're in spinnies in yes. store online waitrose, you're at you're yep. at waitrose you're right. on noon amazon first cry mum's world and at yalla baby yes so if they're everywhere it's called kit and kin emma bunton go support Go and support. I, know I how like hard this. It is for parents as well. So hopefully, I'm giving you an easy choice. <laughs> yeah, and, I love it. Um, yeah. All right, Emma. So listen here, and let me. <laughs> I had to. I got it. Really, really so tell, tell me what, what you want. want what you really, really want. want. I'll tell you what I want. Yeah, but do you ever want to? How many people must come up and say that? Like, you must get people coming. Up. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it when they play it at a wedding or something because <laughs> it's just so much fun. It's so um, good. I always have a little boogie to it. Why not? Looking back at, at those times of when it was obviously the peak of what it was, you yeah. guys were just oh, unstoppable. Was, I know. It, it happened so fast as well. It did happen really fast. And um, not, You weren't prepared for what was going to happen. I'm not sure we were quite prepared for what happened, but we got there. And I think having each other was really important. We needed, you know, kind of, thank goodness my girlfriends were there, yeah. uh, traveling around the world. And But yeah, I mean, who can complain? We had the best time. I know. And like, I know when I was obviously growing up as well, like the Spice Girls, oh, I, I grew up in Australia. You grew up in the States. You grew up in the UK. Guys, the Spice Girls <laughs> were in every single country around the world. Yeah. I like, I remember... I remember going into the stores and getting the lollipop yeah. and oh, fighting with yeah. my friends about which sticker <laughs> they got and tr- fi- trying to get all of them. That is like so it fun. was just a part of our lives. Yeah. And I love seeing that all of you guys are still friends now. It just, it makes it fulfilling. I know. I think some, for some reason people really question that, but yeah, right? we've yeah. really been through so much. Um, you know, it's, a, it's more than a friendship actually. It's like yeah. sisters. It was it really like a, you guys had a celebration just recently, right? We Where did. Were you? We had Jerry's birthday and we, yeah, we partied. It was great fun. You, you did a song as well, right? Viva Forever, was it? Or Say You'll Be There? You we're, oh, no, we danced to it. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, is it weird when, if you're getting back together and you guys know that something's being filmed, like, you would know that as soon as you guys are filming this, that Spice Girls were around before social media, right? Yes, yes. So like, they were. That's so true. No. <laughs> yeah, like, it was before, you know, Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Yep. Like, who knows what could have happened? I mean, you were that that big but without even social media is such a huge thing but now that you're back you know, you're back together, you're hanging out, just had a birthday party. Yeah, you, guys have to be, you guys have to be pretty careful what gets up on video, right? <laughs> we do, right? but do you know who actually filmed that piece? David Beckham. Yeah, you and he that. <laughs> Yes, he filmed that. And so my other half, Jade, is my husband as well, he was filming it. It was all the husbands, like, Aww. they get really excited Aww. when the girls get together. That's cute, though. That's <laughs> that's so cute, right? It's so lovely. Really it's, lovely. It's, it's weird. I do a comparison of the Spice Girls and Friends. I don't know why I have that comparison of, like... I get... The, 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 when, when the Friends come all are together when they're on that show yeah it was like when I saw you girls all together it was that same nostalgia area as well yeah but it was just that like oh I love this like I really love that feeling you, Do know? you know what you have friends is my favorite thing oh. in the whole world okay. apart from Spice Girls yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I totally get that okay. I totally get that but the baby spice are you are you cool with people saying baby spice like does it get a point where you're like oh my gosh my name's Emma <laughs> <laughs> no I don't but do you know what the only problem is Mm. As obviously, I am I'm, I'm getting older, yeah. but I kind of think to people go, oh, that was baby spice. <laughs> That's baby. No, it's, but no you so, look the same. No, oh, thank you. I swear That's I'm not very, trying to say your it. Very skin, sweet of you. I'm touching wood on everything. Your skin <laughs> is amazing. Oh, that's very, very sweet of you. It's my natural products. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but no, I like baby. I think I definitely got the better one. Yeah. Didn't I? Who, who decided on those names? Yeah. So it was a magazine in the UK. A guy, uh, we went for lunch and uh, the head of this magazine just picked the names and the next minute we picked up the magazine and there it was. Oh, that's oh. cool. Yeah. Sporty and it, right? And it stuck, especially in America. I mean, they. I, yes. I don't think they even know our names, <laughs> so our real names. I think they just go with baby, yeah. Wow, that's interesting that a guy in a magazine wrote that and then it just stuck for all it these stuck years. stuck for all those years. That's how it happened. That's Amazing. unbelievable. Yeah. Um, any, what was the biggest show that you believe that you ever did? As in, what was the biggest moment... Where, oh. where you thought as a performer... I think probably the Olympics was a big thing. Yes. That was wasn't so it? Cool. And you came in the taxi. Yeah, on top of the taxi. Yeah, that was that was iconic. That honestly. was frightening. Nervous? Were you <laughs> nervous? Yes, it was so scary. I tr- trying to stand on the top of a taxi <laughs> while, while moving, moving uh, was very daunting. But to represent, obviously, your country, it goes out to millions of people. It was, yeah. uh, it was a magical night. And then we did party quite hard after that until the early hours. I can't imagine. So that, yeah. was, that was good fun. I usually party and then stand on a taxi at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he gets fired. That's usually what happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, it but happens. that was magic. That what, was magic. What radio station did you get fired from? Well, I used to work uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, on uh, Emma's old radio station. It was called Century FM back then. But oh, okay. It's changed names to Heart now. Did, and, who, and what did you get fired for? What did what you did get you fired do? for? Uh, I danced on stage with McFly and swung my jacket around my head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and After they, he was told not, not to, to go do on that. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got some things here I want to run through. You acted in two Bollywood movies. Pretty's a huge Bollywood fan. You I acted did. in two Bollywood movies in 2005. How, yes, why, tell it us. it was incredible. I got to go to Mumbai. I got to wear the most incredible sari. I had the makeup. I mean, yeah. it was just so beautiful. Yeah, I was just part of a, of a Bollywood movie. And wow. I, I actually watch it and, and made my children watch it recently. I'm like, look at me dancing. <laughs> Did you have fun, though? Was it I fun had, learning at all? Of course. It was yeah. incredible. What an, what an experience. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I'd do it all over again. Yeah? Yeah. Neighbours in Australia, what was going on there? That was one of our... That's our biggest show ever, ever. in Australia. Neighbours. You did, <laughs> did it. You did a cameo. I did a cameo, but I was in the UK. So I didn't have, I gutted. I didn't get to go to Australia. Oh. But um, yeah, so that was, an, yeah, that was another thing I did. You've done so much. I'm just having a look at everything that you've can done. Can we, and, yeah. can we talk about the circle? Yeah, now you're a big, pretty loves the, love circle. the circle. My wife loves the circle. Yes. When, okay, when they promoed and said you're going to be on it, I said, please. <laughs> I know. As if. Can they you... said it's getting spicy in the circle, didn't and they? And we were like, <laughs> as if you're actually going to be on the show. You were in the show. The circle is a reality show on Netflix. And the way that it works is the contestants never see each other face to face. You could be a catfish and you okay. only communicate through chatting. Okay. And every week you pick the top influencer of the week. You okay. never meet these people. So you went in yeah. and you were one of the contestants. We were one of the contestants and we were a catfish. Me and Mel, me and Scary. Yeah. So good. And, but the good thing was we got to spend just four days kind of in this apartment having a great time. You really stayed was, in that apartment? We stayed in that apartment for four days. And I, I was daunting, but I loved the show too. I'm such a big fan. That's yeah. the reason I said yes. Gosh. I'm not sure. I didn't. I probably didn't know quite what I was getting myself in. <laughs> uh, but Scary and I sharing a, a room for, for four days was amazing. It's cute. We ate sweets and we just like hung out and loved laughed and it was brilliant didn't, brilliant didn't you share a house as the spice girls though at the start we did right at the start How and was that? i shared a room with victoria wow uh, posh <laughs> i'm just giving you the other names <laughs> in case um and that was good fun too i mean messy and we used <laughs> to get it? takeaways because none of us are great cooks so it was just takeaways mess and... who would go get the food because it was not like now you got delivery and talabar no, with the guys delivering yeah we just had to we had to literally drive down the road in imagine, jerry's old fiat uno and imagine seeing <laughs> oh, no, jerry had a what a fiat uno, uno. yes a really old one and she was not a very good driver so <laughs> wow <laughs> that's so cool like you understand and i'm sure you do that in 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 years to come even now it's legendary yeah like you've created like no. there's a bit of history in the world where if they were to look back at the last hundred years the spice girls yeah would have their own section. Oh, no, it's, it's pretty crazy, it's, huh? It's crazy, but I just, uh, yeah, very pr proud. Like, my kids haven't known kind of this thing until yeah. recently. Mm. And even they're a bit like, Mum, was you a Spice Girl? Yeah. You know, <laughs> yes. Yeah, pretty and it big feels, deal. It feels very special, very I think, special. I think any pop artist, or just any artist who's made it that big yeah. now has to tip a hat to you guys because I feel like it's the OGs. You, you created this hysteria that mm. I don't think anyone else... It's going to be very hard to replicate again, you know. Mm. Never yeah, again. Very hard. I mean, yeah, we were quite unique. Yeah. quite unique, and it's lovely because we do meet new artists now who just like oh, you opened up doors for us. We, you know, so that, it, that it's always wonderful to meet new artists. That's cool. As well. I think my favorite Spice Girl definitely now. Just amazing. Oh, it wasn't before. Is no, that what you're trying to say? Wasn't. Is that what he's trying to say? Of course it wasn't. Was it sporty? Well, <laughs> because she's a Liverpool. No, she's a Liverpool fan. But she... when we met uh, Victoria. We were just like, she is amazing. She's so fun. Yeah. Isn't yeah. she brilliant? Yes. Yeah. I think but now I'm your favourite, so you, let's not yes. forget that. Okay. You're my favourite. We yeah. won't. We won't forget it. <laughs> Will you guys go back on tour? That's the question that everyone asks. We always hear it in the goss. Would you go back on tour? We, I, we, I think I'd love to. Mm -hmm. I'd love to. And actually... We met the other day, and I, you know, who knows what's around the corner. <gasps> oh. Hold on, no, don't get. You can't. <laughs> say She's confirmed like it that. right here no. on the show. The Spice <laughs> Girls are touring. <laughs> We're not going My back heart. on tour. We're not going back on tour. But you might do a show here or there. I, d I hope. So. All of you. I don't know. I think it's going to be. Can't say any more. I think it's going to be a hologram of Victoria Beckham. <laughs> That's what we could do. That's a good idea. That's what we could oh, do. Or the metaverse and all that. You could do something in the we metaverse. We could do the metaverse. We could, yeah, make it work. Uh, it. Emma, you've also announced that you're embarking on a UK solo Christmas tour. I am. I, I, love I am. This. I love it. It's a Christmas tour where, um, yeah, a show with family and friends, and and I sing lots of Christmas songs, and I sing lots of my solo, and I do a few spicy numbers. Woo! Woo! I love that. I yes. love. I really. 
you're doing a lot, which is cool. You know, you could have just put the handbrake up and said, you know what? I did I did my 10 years. I'm <laughs> yeah. good. Right now, though. He wants to fulfill his dream of being the next Steve Harvey. It's Chris Fade's Game Show oh, within the show. Welcome to my game show. I'm the host with the most. My name's Chris Fade. I want to be on a TV one day ho- hosting a game show. So this is my little dream coming uh, true right now. So let's just keep it as a dream, shall we? It's time to meet our contestants. Contestant number one. Hi, my name is Freepy and I cannot believe Emma's here. Contestant number two. Hi, my name's Big Rossi and Emma is my favourite Spice oh. Girl. And contestant number three. Hi, I'm Emma Bunsen and I'm yeah. here with Chris Fade. Yay! All right. Game show works pretty simple. Um, obviously, quote unquote, baby spices in the studio. So we have got songs that have the word baby in it. Okay. You have to try to identify the song that has baby in it. I will oh. play you the audio and you have to try to write it down. You're a legendary pop star. You should know the answers to all of these. Oh, no. no pressure at all. <laughs> like my children. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Song number one that has the word baby. Name okay. me the song and artist. Oh. oh, easy. Oh. I've forgotten his name. You forgot his name? No, I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, I've got it, okay, it, got it, it now. Right. Yeah, all right. Easy. I mean, he's, you know, the same craze that the Spice Girls would have had, he's had as well, Very obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Not as big, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, hand up your answers, please. Pretty. Oh, Justin shade. Bieber, baby. Justin Bieber, baby. Yes. There it is. Baby, 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 baby. Justin Bieber, baby. You all get a point. Woo! Well done. Baby song number two. Oh, Ooh, that's hard. I got it. I got it. I got a clue. Baby, let me see it. Da, 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 da. She's, she's cheating. cheating. She's, she's, she's cheating. She's cheating. She's looking at. I wish I could see. Don't that look. Mom. Don't look at Rossi's answers. She don't can't, look. She can't read my handwriting. Don't anyway. look at. Don't look at Rossi's answers. Actually, he was in the studio just last week. A great guy as well. Yeah. Fantastic guy. Let me play that one more time. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got Sorry, it. I was Honestly. being ridiculous. Right. Of course, I know it. Hold <laughs> up. Yeah. Hold up. Yeah. I just need the artist. Uh, Jason Derulo. Tesher. Jason Derulo. Yes. Jason Derulo. Oh, got it. There it is. Yeah. Baby, baby, baby. You know this song, right? It's a good do, song, yes. huge song. All right, next uh, song that features a baby. baby. Oh, oh got it, got it. Got it. Pretty, you've got to get that one. Right. You guys would have been touring at the same time, I would Probably. believe, right? Um, everyone, yes. hold up their answers. Britney Spears. Yes. Britney Spears. Spears. Baby, one more time. Did, you ever, did you ever cross paths with yeah, uh, Britney? Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah she's. Sweetheart. Love her. We love oh. her. We yeah, love her. We love what she, We love her. Uh, yeah, gosh, you guys, it would have been about the same time. You guys would have been selling out it was stadiums. the same and, time, yeah. yeah. I think uh. she stole the uh, baby look a bit with the socks. <laughs> yes, didn't she? The, the ponytails. She had the ponytails, the baby, yeah. Definitely. The- <laughs> This is the decider. It's the final one. It's worth 1.7 million points. So whatever you've got right now really doesn't matter until this moment. Wow. Oh, this so is it. Good I luck. I think I've got this. Okay. I, oh, you, you really do? All right. Let's see here. Good luck. You ready? Baby, baby. Oh, I know this Rossi, one. stop cheating. I'm Rossi's cheating. now looking at you. I know, I know the song. I know the song. Is goodbye, my, my friend. friend. Isn't it that one? Write the answer down. Is there are two years... Rossi, yes. Spice Girls. Spice song Girls. title, please. What's the song title? Yeah. Goodbye. Go- yeah. Go on with him. Uh, Emma, no. do you want to confirm it? It's not. Two become one. It is. Two it is. Two it's two become one. You mean Emma Bunton's one? Emma, you are an absolute star. Please come back. I don't want to go. Don't Don't go. I'll get a cup of tea. Cup of tea, (laughs) hang out with us. Honestly, you're an absolute superstar. Thank Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. So lovely to be here this morning. Emma Bonton, ladies and gentlemen. The Chris Fade Show on Virgin Radio.